Hey, what is going on, gamers? It's Dr. Resto signing in to another episode on the channel. Today's episode, what are we going to be talking about? We've got some news going on uh, from DECA, I guess I could say so. Uh, we also have, I believe we've got news from Blando, he went ahead and did his live stream and stuff like that. I went ahead and told you guys all about that bad boy right there. So we do have Blando's live stream that happened last Sunday. That thing is all done and dusted now. Uh, I think we have the leaks and everything like that. Also, if you guys want to get it in on the Line app chat, boom, Dr. Redstone all over case, all one word. Make sure and add me on Line. I'll make sure and put you into that chat group. Let's go ahead and get this thing blown up and everything like that. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the episode and see exactly what we have going on. Cue that intro. All righty, gamers, and jumping on into the game, we're going to go and start it off here before we jump into Blando's data mine leaks whatever you guys want to call it. Big shout out to Blando for being able to get that stuff done, man. I'm not even sure exactly where we would be without you doing it, uh, but definitely appreciate it, man. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. So we have May anniversary. We're so celebrating the anniversary of accounts created in the month of May. Uh, now, I know not everybody's accounts are created in May, but I do want to share with you guys from what I've been hearing is I believe mine was created in January, I think. And so what's gonna happen is when the month of January comes around, that's gonna be like the Players Appreciation Month. Um, and so I'll be able to get that, those rewards or something like that uh, from there. I'm not 100% sure, but let's go ahead and take a look into it, see what we have going on. Uh, so anniversary rewards. Should this be DECA's uh, anniversary? And should we be able to rather celebrate Knights and Dragons anniversary instead? Uh, from this month on, we will offer rewards that are currently active players who join Knights and Dragons during the same month, one, two, or even up to six months or six years ago. Um, so if you guys have been playing the game for quite some time, those are the rewards right there that you guys are going to go ahead and grab, which is pretty freaking awesome if you were to ask me. Uh, so it looks like the game's been out for eight years, which is surprising. I've only been playing or known of the game for probably about four. Let me know down in the comment section below right now how long you guys have been playing the game for uh, and what server have you guys been playing on if they've been separated. Many of you guys may not have known this. Two years I've been playing on iOS. That was way back with my old iPod. Now I'm playing on the Android server, global and EU, and I think I've been playing both of those strong for about two years. Uh, so yeah, taking a look over into this one. So those are the rewards that you're gonna be uh, going ahead and getting for depending upon the different years that you guys have been playing the game and everything like that. Uh, so fusion boost armor combining, which is definitely maybe something a little bit interesting, something that I don't think that they have done before. So you guys can see over there. So combine two fusion boosts, level one, resulting in a 50% chance of getting a level two, uh, and so forth and so forth, uh, and a 50% chance of getting a one back. So it's kind of a 50-50 uh, to see if you guys can get a level two uh, chance. So it looks like you can go from level twos to level threes. Uh, combining fusion boost level threes or level fours is not possible. So a whole bunch of you guys have a whole bunch of level ones and level twos, maybe trying to combine those things, get level threes may or may not be worthwhile. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys are going to try it or if you guys want to see me try it and we can go ahead and record it and see exactly how long that's going to, you know, what are the odds are? Is it 50% is a little bit better than 50%? You know, they, they maybe stretch their, uh, percentages out a little bit. Let me know what you guys want to see down in the comment section below though. Um, this feature will be introduced in the game in the next couple of days. So if you guys want to see that video, let me know right now down in the comment section below and I'll give it to you. Uh, of course, this is just an option. It won't be forced to use it. Uh, we're working on decreasing the overall price of the inventory slots. Uh, to increase the chance. Okay, so that's one thing that they definitely need to take advantage of. Uh, so if you guys don't know this, you guys can go here, Fusion. You guys can go into, oh no, it's not into Fusion. It's over here, Armor Smiths, Crafts, Armor. And you guys can look way up there in the top corner there, Armor Sets. So we have 183 out of 170 Armor Sets right now. 
uh, clicking on that one. So, oh, so they did. So cost of two gems, you guys can go ahead and get 10 more armor inventory slots, which is actually not bad. It used to be five gems uh, for 10. So this one really isn't relatively too bad. Uh, the more armor slots that you guys can get, the more that you guys can save up and not have to, you know, right now if I were to craft a armor, I have to get rid of all my armors, uh, smelt them away. I've got to get rid of a whole bunch of fusion boost armors just to be able to craft something. Uh, like right now, I wouldn't be able to do heroic mode uh, just because I would not be able to craft the heroic mode armor. So I'd have to go in here to smelt, armor, select all. We're going to smelt those. We have eight. So that means I still have uh, a fair amount of fusion boost that I can go ahead and get rid of uh, before I get down to the 170 mark. So five of them, which isn't bad, but you guys know we've been doing level ups and we're gonna be doing another level up for the earth, earth armor for this weekend. And speaking of this weekend, let me go ahead and see if we can see what we have going on. Treasure hunt, a couple of you guys were mentioning and a friend of mine got a hold of me. They may or may not be wanting to do a fusion or a treasure hunt. And they wanted me to go ahead and bring their account onto the channel and open all those things for you. Let me know if you guys want to see that down in the comment section below. I'm kind of excited about it. So hopefully he lets me, uh, which will be super duper cool. Uh, so here is the raid right there. I'm going to go ahead and put up a picture of the stats. I do have a picture of it right here on the handy dandy iPad. Uh, so let's take a look at it real quick. So we have about 14,000 in attack. We have about 13,000 in defense and 1250 in HP. Now, again, that's the standard version, not the plus version. Uh, but that's pretty dang good overall. Uh, I know that the health isn't anything too crazy, but the attack and defense is pretty good. So let me know down in the comment section below if you guys are going to be going and grabbing that one. I know that we're going to have a pretty good setup, but I don't think that we're going to be grabbing it. Unfortunately, I think we might just be doing a free to play uh, top 40, top 20, something like that. I know that we're going to be able to get some pretty dang good damage. Uh, and this might actually be my personal best record right here. So I'm definitely excited to see that and uh, show that one to you guys. So we'll see exactly what it has in store. Uh, definitely without further ado, I think we need to go ahead and take a look at the data mine that Blando got us all set up with. So without further ado, let's jump on over there and switch back. Alrighty gamers, so jumping on into this one, we do have a full lineup of air armors. That is gonna be what next month's special is going to be. Uh, and so taking a look in the top left corner to the far right or however it looks back there, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the air air one does look pretty good. Of course, that's gonna be the seasonal exclusive. Uh, followed by the air water the air earth does look pretty sweet I do like the feathers that it has going up on that bad boy that looks pretty sweet uh, air and spirit that one looks pretty all right um, if I were to say so my favorite one um, would probably be the probably be this one here the earth and the air I do like the way that that one looks now down on the bottom uh, looks like we do have a couple remakes which is a little bit unfortunate uh, I know that we have I know that we have the fire and air, that one's a remake. This water and air is a remake. I do have the fire version of that one. So we do have a couple different remakes in this one, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, I don't know, I've talked to a couple different people in the community and stuff like that, and it's just, I, I know a lot of artists that could probably make brand new armors every single day and come up with new armor ideas, concepts, whatever you guys wanna call it. Um, for the month to month and so it's kind of unfortunate that they do reskins I know that some reskins do turn out pretty cool uh, And then other times like when they're doing reskins, it's kind of like why do they do that? Let me know your guys thoughts down in the comment section below on the reskin kind of thing um, I don't know. I'm not really a huge fan of reskins Sometimes they do look a little bit cooler though So we do have the pet looks like some sort of bird um, I'm not sure if they're gonna introduce a new attack uh, it looks like Shatter Shield is probably far from gone. So if you guys haven't gotten Shatter Shield, unfortunately, I don't know if we're ever going to be able to get that bad boy again. Uh, down there, or up here, right there, you guys can see. So we do have the two raid bosses. Uh, it looks like it is going to be air and water for one of them. And it's also going to be earth and air for another one. So just like we're having this week in earth and air, so it's definitely going to give you a pretty good idea on what kind of damage you're going to be doing and everything like that. So definitely keep that one in mind. While you're running this weekend, you guys can do that next month as well. 
Looks like we do have the wings going on back there. Uh, I don't really go for the wings too much or anything like that. So yeah, it is what it is. Let me know if you guys end up going for that one. I think you get it in some sort of guild battle and it's like way down there in the line, something like that. I don't even really know how to get the wings. So if you guys know, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, let me know which one of these armors are gonna be your guys' favorite. Mine, of course, is the one with the feathers. That thing looks pretty darn sweet. I don't know if I'm probably gonna go for it. I'm not really sure the plan for next month. So we'll go and get this thing finished out and see exactly where we're gonna end up for next month. Alrighty guys, and that is going to be absolutely everything for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see anything special, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. I do have a couple different videos that I am looking to bring out to the channel. You guys know that we have a couple different games that I'm looking to bring. Also, we got some Sneaker Sundays. I'm going to go ahead and need to get that video edited probably this week. So this Sunday is probably going to be the first edition of Sneaker Sunday. And then we're going to go ahead and jump into maybe a couple different ones. I'm not really sure exactly what we're gonna be doing, but I do have probably about three or four videos right now that I have for that. I've got about three apps right now that I'm looking to try out. Um, so yeah, we've got a couple different things that's going on on the channel. So if you guys are excited about it, hopefully you guys are excited about it. I'm definitely excited about it, so hopefully you guys are too. Uh, that's gonna be everything for me. If you guys enjoy it, please make sure to smash that like button. Definitely helps me out more than you know. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, make sure to put those down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe before you go. This is Dr. Redstone signing out. Thanks, YouTube. Peace.